I hear you've been curious about my son Villa's apartment since I told you about his move back in May. Being the sweet and generous person he is, he agreed for me to shoot an apartment tour while he was away for a few days. It's funny how his favorite part of the city, Southern Malm, is now where I live, and my old stomping grounds in Vasastan is now where he lives. He's basically back where he was born, because when we brought him back from the hospital back in 1994, we lived in a 450 square foot apartment right here. And a year later we moved to a bigger, 100 square meter apartment at Odenplan, under the eaves at the top of the Burger King. At one point I even worked right across the street, so this was definitely my neighborhood, and my besties still live in this area. Villa's girlfriend also recently moved in, so there are now two creatives, both graphic designers, living here. This apartment is a really good size. It's 66 square meters, but actually feels bigger than my own place, which is 68. There's a hallway, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, and even a balcony. If you've been following me for a while, as I've been downsizing from living in a house to an apartment, you'll recognize quite a few things from my place here. Billy previously lived in tiny apartments more than half the size of this one, so he was happy to take over quite a few pieces to furnish and make this place practical. Having a balcony in the inner city is such a bonus. It's not big, but there's room for the two chairs I found by the recycling area in my neighborhood. There's also space to grow some herbs and veggies. Still on his wish list for the living room is a mid-century credenza for the TV and record player. The little nook next to the balcony turned out to be the perfect little home office. We added the tabletop and the shelves above ourselves. Villa still undecided as to the finish of them, so for now they're still the raw pine. The kitchen is L-shaped with a cooking area on one side and the eating area on the other. The light in here is amazing and so is the view over the tree-lined street outside. Villa would eventually like to get a bigger kitchen table, hopefully one with leaves that can be added to make it longer. 
there's definitely room for it in this kitchen and I can really picture him throwing dinner parties here. If you saw my latest video, you already saw a sneak peek of the bedroom. This is also a nice sized room and has good storage. Actually this place has pretty amazing storage throughout, so many cabinets in the kitchen too. Several of the pieces in this room will go at auction. There's an auction house nearby and he goes there on the weekend viewings and then places the bids online. I love the chair that Villa's girlfriend added into the mix. The bathroom isn't huge, but the plumbing is prepared to have your own washing machine instead of using the communal one in the building, so I gave him a washer-dryer combo as a housewarming present. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my son's place. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss anything coming up. Hej då!